I'm joined my case manager Alan Dowson after this afternoon's 3 0 defeat against Maidstone. Alan, what was lacking from our performance today? Spark, you know, when we've got the first 30 minutes, what well, excellent day, things going great, the plan, brilliant. But again, that's the 18 goals in, um, in six games. I think it's something that we're very really engaged with, too. We can't defend at the minute, you know. For Toffee, probably goalkeeper, we probably had his worst game this year. And uh, we're trying threes, we're trying fours, we're trying to go back to shape at the start of the season. But as you know, I've tried that and it's just not working. We're not we're conceding too many goals. It's as simple as that. We can't, you know, yeah, Nate, you get the ball out way and you get to whip the ball in. What's the fun to wear? What are the die to get in? And we give away the worst goals I've seen, like, you know, and stuff like that. The, Nothing here, Gans me left back, comes inside, beats Tolson in the near pool, so that's the only place he's going to put it. Second goal, Andre doesn't hold it, comes back to Tolson, Tolson gives it straight to them, score again, and the third goal's from our corner. And what, what chance, uh, sorry, penalty spot, when, when we've had possession, like, you know, and stuff like that, so what chance we've got when it's like that, you know, so it's um, half very disappointing, but we'll not get anywhere, anywhere if we can't defend, we've got to learn how to defend. At 0-0, Andre McCollum was through on goal, right. he got taken out. Um, yep. Two things arose from that. Was it inside the box and should it have been a red card? The first one I couldn't see because I didn't know if it was because I kind of see if it's inside the box. The second one, of course it's a red, of course it is. He didn't want to see anybody sent off. He's got a great side, yeah. Um, really good. Um, just took us to the cleaners in the second half. But we can't, um, you know, uh, he's clean through with the referees. You know, he's cost us a bit, but what it would have been like with 10 men we had to find out but uh, no, um, I thought it was the same not person I'm going through but then um, many we could see it when Andrea went back and tracked back was that one so you know we have to change games as well don't we it was a fairly tame surrender in the end we seemed yeah. to drop our heads as soon as we let the first goal in why was that yeah. I don't know it's, it, when we're playing over three because we've had to try things that we try to tighten up because everybody wants to play a King's Journey at the minute because they know they'll score goals so uh, when we went back as a four, and I know that brings Nighty into it, and if you end up in exciting players, we're, we're very open, and teams like that pick it off. You know, uh, somewhere along the line, we need somebody, I just said in there, we need somebody somewhere to actually stand up and be counted. We need somebody to start playing well again. So, worry a bit. But, um, you know, I'm looking, I'm thinking, play safe for half an hour. I thought, well done, excellent, very good. You know, you know and stuff like that. Uh, the last 20 minutes, um, you know, how many goals do you want to concede and <laughs> at home again is a, is a bit of a hammer, to be honest, you know. What was said in the dressing room after the game because presumably you've, you've got to be critical of the players, but you don't want to be over critical and, and, and get them even further down than they are. I oh, know it's a difficult one because you, you're looking at the end of games, you're looking for somebody to turn around. So I'll tell you what, he's not done well. I'll tell you what, well done. So somewhere along the lane, we've got to, um, somebody's got to do that. Somebody's got to see how well done. We haven't had that for a long time, and um, it's just you know. Um, I'm looking at the centre half situation at the start of the season, we're keeping clean sheets and things like that. And we look to see if we're going to concede every single time we come up. And, you know, my goalkeeper's got to buy into that as well, you know, and stuff like that. He's got to, he's got to do better. So uh, it's just not critical, but at the same time, as a group of players, we are not keeping clean sheets and that's what's doing. Or, or we're conceding threes and twos and even against Carl Short and conceding what Andy had three, four, five headers, three headers. Um, it's a wobbly with defensive side of it where so it's got to start the season, it went massively backwards to defending. And, uh, I didn't think I didn't think the front two uh, were non-existent today for us. Um, didn't do nothing, um, nothing at all. So uh, the thing is, when it's like that, you have got to rely on. Diff- but at the start of the season, if the forwards weren't doing anything, we're still nick results because we're so tight. But no, we're not. We're not tight at all. So it's a concern, like, you know. In the context of our season, losing today and the team we lost to today, are we still genuine title challengers? Do you think? Oh, we've got, got with 18 games ago, we've got to believe that. But. If we keep on defending like that, well, not. It's simple as that. If we get back to being tight, we've got players who score goals. If we defend like we have done the last like, six games, you know, it's no good saying, oh, let's get back to the back four to start of the season. I've done that, and we still can't see goals. And we went for a, a 4 3 feet to try to stop the Wagons getting out and pack the midfield a bit. I've done that and we still can't see them. We went to 5 to deer. So I'll just let Dave get somebody in who can defend or just go back to the drawing board and see this and that's what we're going to work on. We've got that there, you know. Thanks, guys. Thanks, man.